Well, the horses are stepping to the track for this afternoon's fifth race, the third division of the two-year-old Philly Pace, Ohio Sire Stinks. This is their first leg, a pace of one mile, a purse of $20,000. A field of 10, win play show exact to try effect away during no changes. The one is Towner's Gator Gal, owned by George Burkhold of Sarasota, Florida, trained by Mike Campbell with Bob Harper. The two is Beacon Hill Misty, owned by Lovett and Lovett of Bell Fountain, Ohio, and Steel Wagon, trained by Mike Metters, Jamie Dunlap. The three is Standing Happy, owned by Botter Plain City, Ohio, and Levan of Lewistown, Ohio, trained by Herb Levan with Ron Steck. The four is Anita Rush, owned by Craig Blatchford and Ashley Sutton of Mantua, Ohio, trained by Ron Potter with Danny Noble. Number five is Rhinestone Cotty, owned by Thomas and Doug Ryan of Mount Vernon, Ohio, trained by Doug Ryan with Brett Miller. Number six is E.T.'s Lizzie, owned by Irwin Bolding Enterprise Limited of Shaker Heights, Ohio, trained by Earl Bowman with the Grizz, Greg Grismore. Number seven is Not a Day Goes By, owned by Milton Lehman of Black Lake, Ohio, trained by Jim Artledge Jr. with Dallas Miller. Number eight is BJ's Gone Country, owned by Amabel Patel, Springfield, Ohio, trained by Marty Willem with Kyle Lader. From the outside of the nine is Diagonal Road, owned by Scott Cox and Ronald Posty. They're both of Ohio, trained by Scott Cox with Randy Tharps. And scoring from off the second tier is number 10, Megabell Delight, owned by Venerys of Columbus, Ohio, and Venerys of Willoughby, Ohio, trained by Joe Veronis with Dave Hawk, Ian Hersonke. That's the film for the fifth race. Third division, two-year-old Philly Pacers, Ohio Sire Stakes. First leg, a field of 10, swings to the back stretch. Not a day goes by his way off the gate and off stride. Field in motion. Being set on their way. They're all fan pacing and firing away. Middle of the track, there goes Standing Happy right alongside. That is E.T.'s Lizzie, who's driving out for command. Coming away, racing in third. That is Towner's Gator Gal up the outside, looking to drop in and fourth. That is Diagonal Road. In there, racing in fifth, that is Beacon Hill Misty. Sixth on the inside is Anita Raj. Seventh there along the inside, that is Rhinestone Cotty. Eighth is BJ's Gone Country. Ninth is Megabell Delight. And tenth and trailing the field, still off stride as not a day goes by. As they reach the opening quarter, the opening quarter came and went in 28 and 2 fifths. And they'll pass the stands for the first time and head on down to the half. And on top of the field, E.T.'s Lizzie and the Grizz leads it here comfortably by two. And to the inside, Towner's Gator Gal is racing in second as they roll under the with five eighths of a mile remaining. Diagonal Road is a long racing in third. Fourth on the inside is Standing Happy. First over the outside racing in fifth. That is Beacon Hill Misty who's towing along Anita Rush here as they step around the clubhouse, turn it on over to the half and on top of the field. E.T.'s Lizzie has got away from him here by two and a quarter as they reach the half. They're halfway home in 58 and four fifths. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top of the field E.T.'s Lizzie leads them down the backside of this headwind here. Up on the outside, Beacon Hill Misty is now grinding it out. First over the outside racing in two, and Beacon Hill Misty looked at the leader of the eye and went right on by. Up on the outside, Anita Rush has now came into second. Along the inside, E.T.'s Lizzie could not go with him in third as they reach the three-quarter mile mark of the race. Three quarters in 127 and four fifths. They'll pace the final turn and head for home. Over to the inside, Beacon Hill Misty, but to the outside, Anita Rush rushes right on by as they turn to the top of Power Alley. Less than an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come, and Anita Rush is absolutely cruising away from this field. She's very impressive here. Anita Rush, the two-year-old Bay Philly by Perfect Art, is rocking away. It's Anita Rush in front. Finishing second of the mile was the one Towner's Gator Gal. It's very close for third. The time of the mile, a very impressive 156. Three thefts. Anita Rush out of the Ron Potter stable for driver Danny Noble. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, stepping trackside of the winner's circle in her debut. A sensational freshman pacing filly here. Number four, Anita Rush. A two-year-old bay filly by Perfect Art out of a Maggie Simpson. She buys Simcoe Hanover. Is owned by Craig Blatchford and Ashley Sutton of Mantua, Ohio. Trained by the red-hot Ron Potter. Nicely handled here this afternoon by winning driver Dan Noble. First career start. Home a winner, 156, three thefts. Anita Rush and Danny Noble. Four one nine two is now official. Four one nine two is now official.